All right, but I have to get to Radio Graffiti, all right? On Buy Me a Coffee? Hold on just a second. I just want to make sure that I didn't, you know, skip a dono or something. So let me make sure that I didn't do so. All right, please excuse me, folks. Hold on just one second. I just want to make sure. Uh, 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 how about this classic? Uh, Jim Croce? We, we fucking did Jim Croce. We did, we did the Jim Croce, dude. I actually fucking was singing pretty long. Are you talking about that one? Because that's the only one I'm seeing here. Bad, bad, Leroy Brown. Biggest bad man. Or a bit, you know, that, that shit. Yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah, that's that's it, dude. I had uh, Leroy Brown for you. Uh, I had that short, you know, intro to the porn. And then I had what we just played here. Well, not the, the one we played before Magic Man, all right? So, yeah, we, we played it, dude. Don't worry about it. All right, man. Cheers to you. I wouldn't do you like that. All right. Now we're... I have to get to the part of the broadcast, or I guess should I should say everybody's favorite part of the broadcast, and I'm talking about Radio Graffiti! That's right, folks. Radio Graffiti, the part of the broadcast where the spectators become a part of the spectacle. All you've got to do is give us a call right now at the number that is posted on top of the chat box, uh, that ridiculous fucking Vaughn chat, uh, 667-770-1015. And once the operator bitch starts talking, you push in the code 844-286. All right? And once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. And when I call on your area code or on your name, you've got exactly four to five seconds to say... Whatever it is that's on your mind, that's why we call this Radio Graffiti. Does everybody understand that? So anybody can go ahead and give us a call right now. There's the number. Uh, do we have any Radio Graffiti calls to be had, Engineer? <laughs> well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to Radio Graffiti right now! All right. Now, what we're about to do is we're about to connect to troll hell. All right. So here we go. There are 20 participants oh, in the great. conference. Shut up! Muted. All right, all right. Before we get started, let me take another, let me fucking chug the beer I have and get another beer here. Hold on. Uh, there's that one. All right, you know what time it is. Aside from radio graffiti, it's time for more beer. <laughs> yeah. Now right, I'm getting fucking toasty. I'm already toasty. I, you know, I think this will be a better radio graffiti because I'm already. Uh, I've already had some drinks. You know what I'm saying? And I'm already... Uh, I, I think I'm ready. All right? I think I'm ready for Radio Graffiti. All right? All right. Let's go ahead and get to Radio Graffiti. Let's see who we got. Let's take some fucking numbers first. All right? Uh, let's see. 360 Radio Graffiti. Hey, Ghost. Long time no see. What's up, man? Bossy here. Uh, so it's been a while, but uh, that night we hooked up in the Pegasus bathroom in San Antonio, Texas. I just want to let you know you need to get tested because I popped positive. Dude, you're a fat femme, all right? I would fucking kick you down the stairs. I hate fat femmes. You know that? <laughs> I could hear the fat in your windpipe. Like, no, dude, listen, well listen. Dude. I could hear the fat in your I, windpipe. I, I, I am positive right now. I mean, if you're... Look, hold on, bathroom. hold on, hold on. If you're going to do this fucking, like, bit, you at least sound like Kits does a flip or something, all right? Dude, I told you, don't yeah, that's what I thought. Just, just, just shut up, you fucking stupid fat femme. I can't stand fat femmes. All right? It's a put-on. Jesus Christ. Because if you were a true femme bottom, right, you wouldn't be eating shit, all right? You wouldn't be fucking shoveling your goddamn fucking pie hole full of processed garbage so that your fucking asshole looks like a goddamn Rocky Road ice cream, all right? And I only know that because of the fucking extensive research I've done to the fucking gay community. Uh, how about 817 Radio Graffiti? Uh, 
that dude i mean what ill-timed fucking stupid radio graffiti call of an effeminate ai me uh, sounding like some fucking homosexual artist or some shit (laughs) what a fucked up fucking shit dude i this was a a fairly decent show it's starting to fuck up now i can tell you that all right let's keep let's continue with the numbers here how about three two five radio graffiti Ghost is a racist! Ghost is a racist! Ghost is a racist! I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can you can you do a little louder? Hello? Ah, oh, he left. Aww. Aww. First of all, everybody knows that I'm not a racist, dude. All right? I'm a melting pot of friendship. Everybody knows that shit. Everybody knows that shit. So, you know, don't come at me, all right? Anyway, let's see. Who else do we have here? Uh, how about uh, 260 Radio Graffiti? Hello? What up, man? Hey, what up, man? Hey, this is uh, Phil Harvey. It's Phil Harvey. What's up, dude? Yes, sir. What's up, my man? You know, I'm actually, you know, kicking back, uh, smoking my tobacco, you know? Well, good I'm... to hear. Good to hear. How you doing this oh. evening? I'm doing all right. So, you know how I uh, was talking to Jack about that whole WWE match thing? Yeah, that was last show. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I also decided to come up with something. I want to challenge you to a newly crowned true capitalist extreme wrestling belt. And I'm going to kick your fucking ass. Yeah, yeah, you you would want to wrestle with me, you fucking Woody Allen butt-loving fruit bowl. All right? Yeah, you would. You fucking would. Dude, anybody? I don't understand. I, obviously, I attract a lot of homosexual, transgendered people, and that's great. I'm not trying to say, you know, you know, don't listen or whatever. Just take about ten steps away from my freaking butt crack. All right, I get it. I'm a bad motherfucker. I get it. All right, I throw manly dominance around this goddamn internet like it ain't shit. So I get it. But by God, you know, you know, fucking. Close your ass, all right, is all I'm saying. And then stay away from mine. All right, let's take one more uh, caller, then we'll get to some names here. How about uh, how about 941 Radio Graffiti? I am exposing you for who who you you really are! Let's hack the NSA, Jeffrey. (laughs) We're going to implant a rat, CD, and root Jeffrey in hell. They're pound. Those CIA and NSA are going to get what they deserve. So funny! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Jeff, we are in. Create a malicious software update. Later. Hello and welcome. You're with Business Today. I'm Sally Bundock. We are starting with a look at global IT resilience. Later today, a senior executive at the tech security firm CrowdStrike will face questions from U.S. Congress about their disastrous software update. Snipe math, you John Klein. Snipe math. No, no, you fucking... God damn it, you stupid fucking dogs are piece of shit! Alright, dude, that's enough of this shit, alright? People have been doxing all fucking night long, and I don't appreciate it. Alright, cut the shit! Jesus Christ, hey, wait a minute, am I banned off party already, for Christ's sake? I'm banned off party! We had Miskiff in the fucking place over there, for Christ's sake, and now I'm banned on party! Hey, Jack Doherty, man, it's these fucking pricks, dude! It's these fucking assholes! 
Somebody call Jack Doherty and tell him, man, it ain't me, all right? It ain't fucking me! <sighs> all right, let me take some names here, I guess. I, I don't fucking know. How about Moscow Capitalist Radio Graffiti? Kigus, this is Vladimir Putin. How about them Democrats? Yeah, fuck you, Putin, all right? Fucking dumb. Go shove a Fabergé egg up your ass, all right? R.I.P. Prigo's in is all I got to say to that. Who the hell is this message from Ghost's wife, Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost, how about them Democrats? All right, first of all, I'm not a fucking Democrat, ass crack, all right? All right, I've told you all why. I have told you all why I was against Trump because of all the goddamn Russia simping. Listen, I'm not going to go there. I'm not crossing the streams, all right? All right? It's Radio Graffiti. I'm not crossing the streams. How about King Kong, Radio Graffiti? Green Thunder, Radio Graffiti. May 31st, 99. Everything in Clio wasn't looking fine. Something in the air was mighty funky. The stench from a newly born resin monkey. Blood shoots out from his exposed rear Come stain E.D. Plus He's still his soul Degenerate behavior that goes condoms Take this fucking shit off You fucking stupid fucking stuff fucking piece of shit Alright, I know what y'all fucking did And you know what? You're damn right there's another video You fucking pieces of fucking trash and all anybody who's laughing, you take it up the fucking ass. Do you understand me? Huh? You piece of shit! Anybody who laughs takes it up the fucking ass! And you hold your ass, Eddie. Alright, you hold your fucking ass, Eddie. Fucking whore. Alright, let's go ahead and get back to Radio Graffiti, folks, alright? I didn't appreciate whoever made that fucking song. I know what you meant by that. If we have any more of that in Radio Graffiti, dude, we gotta fucking end that shit, because you guys are uh, fucking out of order with all this doxing bullshit, man. Y'all are, are fucking out of order, and y'all gotta calm your ass down with that shit. <sighs> Let me take some more numbers, all right? I'll take some numbers. How about, uh, shit, 470 Radio Graffiti. Hello. What's up? Hi. Um, I'm... Playing with my MAGA butt plug right now. Yeah, yeah, I could tell. I mean, the effemininity in your voice is fucking pathetic. I mean, I'm pretty sure you got a couple of objects up in there, right, Fruit Bowl? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I know. I mean, I can tell that you're probably already. You know, are you? Do you take poppers as well? Yeah, I do. Every yeah, day. I'm sure. I mean, give me a break. Get this fucking goddamn glory hole serving pause hole off my goddamn line. Uh, how about uh, two one six radio graffiti? Hey, what's going on, Ghost? It's Stooges, your favorite Jew. Hey, what's up, Stooges? How you doing, man? I'm good, brother. How are you? You having a good show so far, man? Uh, mezzo, mezzo. Hey, you know, I posted some good shit. You can't hate on me for it. You gotta love Jags in the account. Uh, hey, by the way, I just want to give a quick shout-out to the boys. I want to say a uh, quick shout-out to Prince, quick shout-out to Helmet Boy, LB Capitalist with your 333 campaign. I support you all the way. And, uh, yeah, 333 Van Jag. I love you, Ghost. Let's have a good rest of the show. All right. Thank you very much. You see, I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be Hebrew. I also happen to have uh, black Hebrew friends that we call Hebros. All right. Uh, how about, uh, let's see, Ghost Loves America, Radio Graffiti. All right. Uh, Ghost Loves America, Radio Fucking Graffiti. Oh, what the fuck, Ghost? Calm your bitch ass down. All right. Well, what's going on, man? Uh, this is Eddie three two four five seven eight. Oh, look, we got we finally got Eddie three two four seven five eight. Man. Oh my God, yeah. What's going on, Mister Anti Semite? Uh, Anti Semite. Yeah. Well, you know, there. What's wrong with this country? So, what do you want to know? 
I don't. I, I think there's a lot of things wrong with this country. I think rap and hip hop culture are, are wrong for this country right now. Oh, who controls the music industry, Ghost? Uh, fucking Dr. Dre. Uh, uh, no, who's above him, sir? Well, you know, Interscope Records. Uh, and uh, what demographic are they? Uh, they're Caucasian. Are you sure about that? Are you are you saying that they're white just as a cuck to be like, okay, they can pass as white, or are they actually white? Well, I don't know the actual social demographic of these people that you're referring to, but I, I doubt that they're all Jew. I highly doubt that they're all white, or or even majority white. The, the person who calls okay, the shot. Okay, 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 okay. Eddie, let, let's just... Okay, since you want to debate this, let's just say you're right, and let's say it's the Jew that was peddling uh-huh. all the uh, gangster rap, the degeneracy. Whose fault is it if they're the ones saying, like, hey, look at this, and everybody's like, hey, let me buy that? Whose fault okay. really is it? Okay, Ghost, we have to look at this as, as in the totality. Uh, if... If a certain demographic controls all of media, advertising, etc., uh, if if they're promoting, if they're all promoting. Right, no, no, we're not, we're not doing that. All right, if you're gonna have a debate, you could use, uh, you know, de- debate decorum. All right, you've lost the debate by having to revert to that. You see, unfortunately, the whole everybody who hates the Jews. I'm gonna be completely honest. You hate them because you ain't them. And the reason people hate Jews is because they're the most devoted people to one another than any other group of people on earth. And they've done so and kept uh, together uh, amidst thousands of years of, uh, I wouldn't say persecution, but they weren't everybody's favorite people in the fucking populace, no matter what fucking country you're talking about. Now, the same reasoning why they weren't the uh, most favored group of people is because they are the most loyal to one another. Now, instead of hating this group of people, then why don't all of you superior races, because there's many of you out there that that think that, oh, you're fucking Jew. I mean, it's, it's multiracial. Why don't you get folks in your racial component to do the same damn thing that the Jews are doing, which are they're very loyal, they're... They're, uh, they, they've got a, a faith that, look, I'll be honest with you, the Jewish faith is an eclectic religion. It is not their religion. Their religion is actually much how I said to take all the social components when I was describing how to like observe people earlier in the broadcast. They have taken whatever has worked for uh, whatever empire they lived under spiritually, and they've incorporated it into their religion. And as a result, this is what has made them spiritually powerful because the Torah is not necessarily, I mean, it's partly, don't get me wrong, a spiritual document, but it's mostly a way of life. It's a way of life on how to live. And that's why I I, I keep telling you people this, even though you don't want to listen, but uh, the, uh, the Jews, they don't send their children to daycare. They don't send their children to public elementary school. They have Jewish schools that they purposely send so that they're given education about the Torah so that they can learn and 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 and, and, and kind of mesmerize or memorize the Torah. And you see that's why they have the bar mitzvah and all that bullshit, but I'm just saying all right, if you guys, you really hate the Jews so much, why haven't some of you actually done something to incorporate why they, that you people think they have so much influence, why you people think that they're in power? I mean, why don't you do the same shit, dude? I mean, you, y'all are just making fun of it. Y'all are trolling it, man. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, Devious Dave, uh, so are you pro-white nepotism? No, listen to me. I do, this is America. I'm not against anyone promoting their culture. All right, I think I've said this fucking story a thousand times. We have some of the biggest concentrated Germans, pure-blooded Germans, here in Southwest Texas. And I've talked about New Braunfels. They have the greatest, worst fest 
Uh, it's just like out there in Munich. I'm not fucking joking around. I mean, it is fucking great. Concentrated Germans uh, celebrating the German history, celebrating the German heritage. And when New Braunfels holds their, their worst fest, they allow everybody to come in. And if you go out there, I challenge you, go look at fucking uh, videos and, and pictures of New Braunfels Works Fest. All cultures are celebrating the German culture. And nobody's pissing and moaning about it. You've got black people, you've got Asian people, you've got Mexicans dressing up in lederhosen and all this other shit. And the German people there, they're not pissing and moaning about it. Why? Because they are appreciating their culture and no one's stopping the, the, the fucking pure-blooded Germans that are in southwest Texas from from procreating and making themselves a bigger uh, population. No, one, no one's stopping them from doing that. Except themselves. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to go off on another soliloquy. All right, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight. Uh, big, uh, br- pick you back up. Dude, listen, you already wore out your welcome by fucking saying the N-word, dude. What else do you have to say? Uh, oh, all right. All right. So, what, what's your argument, Ghost? You want, you want to go off? How, how does using a specific word, like, stop the conversation? I've been... I, well, well, let me explain that, all right, while you're stumbling, mumbling over your fucking self. All right? Because debate is about third-party perspective, the audience, all right? And if you want a true debate upon the issues, you're not going to use words that are going to turn off the audience because the whole point of a debate is for you, one or the other side, to convince the audience that their side is better. And if you're just going to go right to what's going to offend most people, then you've already lost the debate. Do you understand? You've already lost the debate. So go ahead once again. Can you please make a point? All right. You've unmuted me now. Thank you. Uh, So, look. uh, You want to make the point that saying saying these words is bad. I I lived in downtown Chicago. Like, literally downtown Chicago. Like, the loop. Uh, I got called a bitch-ass cracker all the fucking time. If you're going to want to say that saying the N-word... Well, hold on, it, hold on. It, uh, Eddie, Eddie. First of all, with all due respect, all right, you obviously lived in impoverished Chicago, okay? And that's your problem, that you got to commiserate with the low grades of society, no matter what the demographic is, okay? You could be in a trailer park. You could be in a, a fucking Mexican barrio. It doesn't matter. It's obvious that you... Uh, you know, for, for whatever time in life that you were in, you had to, like, commiserate with these people. Isn't that more your fault because you can't step your game up and step your chain up and get the fuck out of the ghetto, brother? Uh, uh, th- thanks again for unmuting me, Ghost. Uh, I, I, don't under- I don't understand what the point is that you're trying to make. I moved there for a job. Uh, I lived in downtown Chicago for five years. Uh... I, 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 I don't see what point you're trying to make. Well, you know, well, hold on. You're trying to make that, oh, well, you know, a word's a word because some black people in a ghetto-fied part of town that I should have never have been in in the first place unless my socioeconomic strata put me there, all right, called me honky, called me cracker, or whatever the case might be, all right? You, listen, if a black person was in a fucking trailer park, it'd be the reverse shit. That's how it goes, all right? When you live in poverty, it's like prison, all right? People congregate based upon uh, cultural uh, norms or or, 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 or or some kind of pigment of fucking skin relationship, all right? It's just like prison, all right? And unfortunately, I'm not trying to judge you because we all evolved, dude. I mean, I, I lived in once upon a time uh, parts of town where I had to fucking, uh, you know, socially navigate the situation, but I got myself the fuck out of there, and whatever experiences that I had in that impoverished situation, I don't judge a whole group of people based upon that. Those group of people that you lived in with or had to you know, communicate with or interact with in that impoverished part of town is a, a circumstance of your doing, man. And I'm glad you stepped your chain up, and I'm assuming now you're 
you're doing your thing a thing, but you can't make a judgment call like, hey, they called me cracker, they called me honky over here, so that means I'm just going to say the N-word, which eliminates any kind of persuasive debate that you're trying to convey to anybody. All right? Come on, man. Uh, uh, thank you again, Ghost for unmuting me. Uh, no, y you're wrong. Uh, no, if, if they're willing to call me a cracker, they should be able to be called the N-word. In, in Dude, they're ignorant fucking impoverished shitheads. Who gives a shit what the fuck these EBT fucking idiots are fucking saying to you, man? For fuck's sake, they're impoverished shitheads. You go to White Trailer Park, they're going to say the fucking same shit. Yeah, fucking N-word, fucking this, and fucking that. It's fucking ridiculous. Listen, this is more of a class problem than it is a racial problem, Eddie. All right? Because if you didn't even have the experience of having to interact with these people, you wouldn't have these uh, very, very prejudiced thoughts that you have. Am I wrong? Uh, thank you again, Ghost. I, I always appreciate you unmuting me. Uh, uh, look, I, if I have to take it, why can't they take it? That That's that's a question that, that I have to pose. Uh, you know, if I have to be called racial slurs, why are they... How is this the... I don't know if you're, if you're familiar with uh, things like... Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. Ah, but like, All how, right. yeah, I don't want to fucking... You know, if you're having to go to Dungeons and Dragons as a source, I don't want to have this fucking debate anymore. I'm sorry. All right? If you're having a... You know, it's like Dungeons and Dragons and... Uh, dude, I don't want to have this debate anymore. I'm sorry. All right? Fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Modern America where Dungeons and Dragons becomes a source of a debate. Very, very... Un <laughs> Dude, can we just drop the nukes already, for fuck's sake, man? Can we bring in Skynet? This is stupid! I'm sorry! I don't mean to be Doomer! This is fucking stupid! Oh, God, man! Hey, hold on. Trolling the interwebs. Don't say the N-word because of N-words. All right. I, I get it. All right, you know what? I think everybody knows what time it is, man. It's time for more beer! <laughs> buy that for a dollar. And uh, this guy, Eddie, is a liar. No one in the lupus says cracker poser ass. I also see chat. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody's calling you out, Eddie. Driving or working or at the bar are calling you out. I'm sure that's probably Nick Fuentes, you know, truth be told. He's like, look, you yeah, fucking Eddie. I live in like the yeah, bad part of town over here. And, you know, I do my fucking stream and Nobody's ever come to my fucking house, yeah. I didn't. None of the fucking Mexicans, none of the black people that I. No, it's some fucking weirdo, like yeah, fifty-year-old tranny or something. Yeah, so like, go fuck yourself. Hold on, put the PC shot on. Uh, this Eddie guy's a liar. No one in the loop says cracker poser ass. Also, I see the chat. Chicago thin crust is the best pizza. Fuck New York. So, I mean, somebody's calling you out there, Eddie, all right? I get it that you, I don't know, you pin the ale, uh, you pin the tail on the asses of a Pokemon at some fucking assembly line at fucking Chicago, and Chicago's, a, you know, it's kind of an expensive city, and, you know, you had to live with some uh, questionable socioeconomic demographic folks, and uh, you're basing your whole prejudices on that, you know? Anyway, sorry, Eddie. I hope everything goes better for you there, pal. All right. How about, uh, let's go back to the numbers here. How about 817 Radio Graffiti? Ahoy, ghost it be the pirate capitalist yet again. Thank you for this wonderful show, and shout out to the hashtag pirate right. Now, I have a word to give out to Jag the Lux Ray. Um, what I got to say to Mr. Jag the Lux Ray Ye made a big mistake. Ye don't copy strike people ye disagree with, no matter how foul they are. Abusing YouTube's copyright system could get you in serious, serious trouble. Hear my words. This be a bad idea. If I were ye, I'd revoke the strikes before it's too late. Wow, well, there you go. Thank you, Pirate Wright, trying to give a warning out there. Arg. Uh, we got Helmet Boy, Radio Graffiti. 
Ghost, you said Kamala was going to win, so when I placed a bet that Kamala would win for $500, I expected it back an extra, but I got no money. What the fuck? I, well, listen, I, uh... I'll be honest with you, I got it wrong. Much like the guy that was the Nostradamus of the uh, elections, I got it wrong, okay? But in retrospect, you know, we get why it didn't happen. I think that now the Democrats are in a complete renewal mode, and um, the things that they thought was uh, their bread and butter, like identity politics, is gone. And one thing that was a refreshing thing, even though I, I, I don't like... Trump's Russia simping and all that shit. What was a refreshing outcome of this election was that because it was overwhelmingly Republican, even though I didn't agree, we don't really have policy, and you all know my deal on that. It was a, uh, it, it was like a rejection of what the Democrats had been putting forward for the past shit since 2008. A complete rejection. And that was the reassuring part about it. That no, no more of this identity politics bullshit. No more of this, uh, you know, uh, uh, putting people like Dylan Mulvaney on pedestals and shit like that. And I think that right now is the biggest win of Trump because I don't think Trump is. I, I'm going to wait and see attitude. All right, because I, he, him picking Marco Rubio goes against his Russia simping. In my opinion, Marco Rubio is now the Secretary of State, or at least a future Secretary of State. And if you take a listen to what Marco Rubio's his foreign policy is, he's not too uh, it's not too favorable to Russia. All right, so I'm in a wait and see attitude to see what the fuck happens with Trump because he's, he threw a lot of shit out during the campaign, and uh, I, I don't know, but. I, 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 all I can do is just hope for the best. I, I mean, what do I want Trump to be failure? No, I don't want Trump to be a failure, dude. This is our country. This is America. And I don't want him to be a failure. I don't want him to be uh, nefarious. Uh, the thing that I disagreed with him on was I I'm not pro-Russia, dude. I, I think Putin is a fucking piece of shit. I think Russia can't be trusted. You people know that I've always had a prejudice. Yes, a prejudice against Russia going back to when I fucking first started this broadcast. Remember the whole Nikolai meme? That wasn't some fucking joke. Russians can't be trusted. All right? And that's that's what I personally feel. I'm sorry about it. All right? And, you know, when you have MAGA people, you know, trying to put Russia on a pedestal and Moscow on a pedestal and shit, it's a fucking demoralizing situation. Because America, this is the best country in the world, even though the American public are fucking it up right now, if you want my opinion. Even though the American public are fucking it up, this is still the greatest country in the world. And that's why, in my opinion, well, look, I don't want to get it. I don't want to get into this crap. All right, I know. Save it for TCR. I'm not doing TCR for a while, by the way. But anyway, let me let me continue with the uh, radio graffiti. How about uh, how about evolution setback radio graffiti? Okay, SDMD. It's time for your revolving lessons. Oh, rapture! They swing by the tails with the greatest of ease. Those hairy lower life forms we call monkeys. They have so much fun when they play in the trees. Oh, how I'd love to be one of these. So, I'm gonna be a monkey. A monkey, monkey, monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. A monkey, monkey, monkey. I'm gonna be a monkey. A monkey, monkey, monkey. Would you like to be one too? Alright, look, that's enough of this fucking shit, man. I mean, you guys are beating this, this, this damn... Dude, you guys are beating this goddamn Jag the Lux Ray like a like a like a dead horse up in here, man. All right. Ugh. Who the hell is this Jag lawsuit? Radio graffiti. How <laughs> bad dragon? Radio graffiti. Yeah, I can totally understand why you wanted to get me. I still think you're a good friend, Jag. All right. I was really yelling at you when you had West Coast out chappers, Peppermint and Maz Pony shoot up Luther's. Seriously, I can't forgive these assholes for doing that, but you, eh, you're still on the good ones. Things are bailing me out of jail, Lulu. 
Anyway, I want you to do me a favor. Oh, is it fuck your Pokemans? Because I would really love to see what you and that cub skunk see in them. Uh, it isn't that. Although I would love to do that. Remind me later, Lou. I want to sue every troll, especially LB Crapitalist, for creating that 333 campaign because it only promotes people being me, Reenie, Simiyuu, but also for stealing my copyrighted Sona. We should also sue that that hit me at COTS for making that video involving the idiot. Oh. Well, Jack, the thing is, I might have to talk to my lawyer, Shekelstein Noseberg to see if we have a case. At Shekelstein Noseberg's office. Um, do we have a case, Uwu? Mr. Luxray and Mr. Albin, I regret to inform you I must decline involvement from this case. Oh wait, no I don't. And it's regardless of the financial compensation offered, although I would love that money, thank you. Um, but anyway, the premise of this lawsuit appears to be fundamentally flawed and race it raises significant ethical concerns. It is unacceptable to initiate legal proceedings against an individual solely based on their race, such as the Hitman Cause. Dude, that was John's idea! The Hitman Cause is one of the good Moreover, the subject of this case is a character that is already derived from the Luxray. I get this shit out. I, you know, I, I, I don't even know why I do this fucking shit. I don't even know why I do this fucking stupid fucking shit, man. Oh, oh, I don't even know why I do this fucking shit, man. All right, dude. I don't know. Dude, I'm, I think I'm done with this fucking show, man. I was, I was kind of grooving with this show a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But now, you know, it's pissing me the fuck off, dude. All right? It's pissing me the fuck off. And by the way, driving or working or at the bar... All right, let me get to his video here. Shut up in the chat! You guys, fuck you! Anybody who laughed at that, you take it up the fucking ass. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and go back to Radio Graffiti and hope that, you know, that we... I don't fucking know. I, I have no fucking idea. All right, the number is on top of the chat box. I guess let's get back to Radio Graffiti. Uh, how about uh, Lux Ray sued Radio Graffiti? All right, well, you're, you're playing with your fucking pecker, you dumb, stupid motherfucker. All right, hurry up! All right, can we continue here? How about... Uh, Secretary of State, Radio Graffiti. Oh, Marco! Oh, my God! Have you heard these reports, for Christ's sake? Little Marco actually believes that he can somehow maneuver some delegates and make himself either the presidential nominee or the vice presidential nominee. I mean, can you believe these bureaucratic scum? All right, dude, all right, that's enough, all right? What, dude, I'm... <sighs> Look, if y'all want to cross the fucking streams, all right? If y'all want to cross the streams, we'll do that. I'll I'll stop what I'm doing right now, and we'll cross the fucking streams. Piece of shit. Uh, how about Pippa AIDS Radio Graffiti? Green Thunder Radio, Radio Graffiti. Graffiti. I've tried fad diets, powders, pills, still my weight's been up and down like a yo-yo, until the AIDS plan taught me how to take off weight and help keep it off. AIDS may taste like a candy, but AIDS contains one of the most effective appetite suppressants you can buy. And there's no stimulant in AIDS that could make you nervous. With AIDS, I ate less, so the weight came off. To help keep it off, when I sometimes want things loaded with calories, AIDS helps put me in control. The AIDS plan can teach you how to take off weight and help keep it off. Try new peanut butter AIDS. I really like monkey dick. Not joking. Uh, to, to, to take the shut up! Shut up! Shut up! All right, dude. I, 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 dude, listen, listen. I've had about enough of this crap, man. I've been on here for five hours and thirteen minutes, man, and now it's getting to the fucked up, fucking shit bird part of the broadcast. <sighs> Hold on. Who the fuck is this? Maria, Maria is in heaven. Radio graffiti. <laughs>
I love retards. So much that I have here, MJ Klein and Jeffrey Strogan and some bondage gear. Tonight we're going to be tarting out like the inner circle and the TCR member chat and doing some piss and scat play with these two retards. You boys ready? Take that shit off, man! Don't take it off! Don't take it off! Jesus fucking Christ, man! All right, dude, that's enough, dude. All right, I've had about enough of this fucking stupid fucking show. This show sucks a cock with it. All right, let's get back to Radio Graffiti. Of course, the number is on top of the chat box right in front of you. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, how about uh, Gay Bartender, Radio Graffiti? Uh, who the hell is Ashton, Radio Graffiti? Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Trump is in the lead? Yeah, fuck this. I'm going to go to a gay bar. Let me just announce a no show. Not like I'll surprise anyone whatsoever. And sent. I'm out of here. Ah, Luthers, you never failed to cheer me up. Uh. Hey, cutie patootie, what can I get you? I'll have a 20 ounce Bud Light. Uh. Hey, that's like my favorite. Coming right up. I just turn on the TV. Just coming in. Pennsylvania has been confirmed for Trump. Trump has won the 2024 presidential race. I failed you, Harris. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. One last time for her, I suppose. Kamala Harris, deep fake AI. Come on, load already. Just gotta get it around the neck. Uh, here we go. Hey, hon, how about them Democrats? You fucking piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it, man. I'm tired, dude. I am tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Dude, fuck all you people, dude. Seriously, man. Fuck all of you fucks, man. Fuck all of you fucks, man! Jesus Christ! Look, I'm gonna get yeah, 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 no shit! I'm gonna get to another fucking video. You goddamn right! Hold on, wait a minute. I, I, I just, I just want to say that. I just, you know, I don't appreciate you guys like rubbing shit in my face, dude. You know what I mean? I just, I just don't appreciate that shit. And look, somebody by the name of Ghost has a loose ass. Uh, we love your racism. Hail Trump. And there, here's Vox Artificials. Do your own yard work. If you can't do it, uh, you lazy... Uh. That's what I got to say to that shit, all right? All right, we're going to get back to Radio Graffiti. Let's see who's on, and let's see what we got here. Who the hell is AIDS Burger Radio Graffiti? I am going to flood on these damn illegal immigrants at the river and after crossing the border in my fucking state. Alright, these goddamn s always getting on my fucking nerves. Even in my goddamn country fell apart, for Christ's sake. So what I'm doing, you know how to get rid of these dirty out the fucking state is to put up some explosive sea fort over this fucking water barrier here and just fucking blow until the dirty Drown, but anyway, time to blow on these cocks. So here we go. Get the hell out of here. No, 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 no. 
Absolutely fucking not. What is wrong with you fucks, dude? Are y'all insane? What the fuck is your fucking problem, man? Jesus Christ, man. Y'all are taking away my labor over here, dude. My yard has never looked better, man. They were building, they were laying tile, they were just, fuck! Jesus Christ, now I gotta pay some American convict to do it, like, fucking five times more, uh, you know, while, you know, in between him going and getting meth fucking, it, never mind, I, I'm sorry, all right? Uh, how about talentless twat ghost radio graffiti? To get rid of these dirty of the fucking state is to put up some explosive seat fort over this fucking water no, barrier. No, no, no. Jesus Christ, dude. How about no beer, radio graffiti? Dirty drought. But anyway, time to blow on these cocks. So here we go. Get the hell out of here right now. All right? Get out! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out! Piece of shit! Get out! Man, I love these damn wild burrito getting flushed down the toilet. You know, I mean, ghost wins, loses. calls to get that shit how many fucking numbers do you have Adolf fucking Fister or whatever your fucking name is man fuck man I'm just I'm fucking I'm just fucking tired dude I'm fucking tired of doing this fucking bullshit man I'm tired man fuck man give me a fucking drink I'm not drinking enough I don't know maybe I need to take more shots and maybe I fucking chug more beer I don't know! Give me a fucking drink, dude. <sighs> dude, why don't all you fucking assholes in the chat just shut up, alright? Why don't you all just shut up? Ugh. Just shut up in the fucking chat, or I'm trying to get my bearings straight, you fucking cockweeds, motherfuckers. All right, all right. I'm just trying. Just shut up, dude. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get chemicals in my brain. Shut up. All right. I think I'm. I think I'm okay now. All right. I think I'm all right now. All right. Uh, how about, uh, who the fuck is this? Uh, Laura Shig... Oh, hold on, I don't know, that person's not on the... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Laura Shigara, Radio Graffiti. Roxas, Radio Graffiti. Wobble Weedle Wobble, wow! They got the E-Bottle me now. E-Bottle Wobble, wow! E-Bottle Wobble, wow! E-Bottle Wobble, wow! E-Bottle Wobble, wow! He won my meeple, my man, E-Bottle Wobble, wow! He won my meeple, my man, wow! He won my meeple, my man, wow! Oh, wow! Let a little bit of my autism get out there. Anyway, I hear there's some sort of invasion coming. I'm a little nervous about it, but it's okay, because I heard of Newsmax. There's a way to get rid of these fucking things. And that's by planting these fucking things. The plants, they, they, they do things. I, I, I don't really know how it works, but yeah, let's get the planting some. All right, what's this plant? A little... Seed package says pea shooter. <laughs> Reminds me of something that happened to me a few days ago. <laughs> My eye hurts. <laughs> uh, let me plant this thing. Wow, this thing looks pretty. <laughs> Where if I stuck my dick in it? I'm gonna try it. And here we go. 
Let them do it though. I can't see it. I can't see Dude, I, I can't do this anymore, man. I can't fucking do I don't know how much longer I can do this shit. I don't know how much longer I can do this shit. Uh. <sighs> fuck you people, man. I don't give a fuck what you say. Shut up. I'm doing another video. Shut your goddamn chocolate starfish, you fucking piece of shit. Uh, oh, just shut up in the fucking VOD chat. You're lucky you're still here. You're lucky you're still here. Put the fucking PC shot on. Listen, let me tell you something. Everybody's got streaming services out here. Fucking, you got Eddie Cravens. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. No, I'll, I'm doing it. This is, well, it's your fucking video, so I guess I gotta go back. You fuck. Stupid fucking weeb, cock sucking, scut of fucking piece of shit, son of a bitch. All right, from Mr. President, Radio Graffiti. Goes, this is your future president, Donald J. Trump, and I just want to ask one simple question How about them Democrats? <sighs> you motherfucker. I don't give a shit about the Democrats, all right? I don't. Stop fucking doing this shit. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> oh, give me a fucking beer. I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, to learn tuberculosis because of the illegals. Kick that fucking piece of shit out of here. Oh god. Oh my god, fucking... Uh, Space Trains, thank you for fucking hooking it up with a goddamn ghost show intro, man. Fuck you people, man! Fuck you people, man! Jesus Christ. <sighs> Alright. Uh, 937 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, Ghost, can you take a shot with me, man? Yeah, I, I, hold on. Somebody named AIDS Coffler Andy. Pause my... Don't call me Andy. As a matter of fact, uh, go, get well soon, Mexican Andy. Mexican Andy, if you don't know the IP2 lore, he got into a motorcycle accident. Apparently, some bus ran into him. Very sad. He's in a coma. Uh, I, I have to put that out there. I just completely forgot it. Anyway, go ahead. What What is it that you want there, boy? 
All right, that was pretty funny. Can you take a shot with me, though? Nah, you sound like a fucking homosexual, and you probably think of that as a come on, and, uh, you know, you sound a little fat femmy, too. I, you know, I, I don't think so, all right? Uh, how about, uh, how about Nab Man, Radio Graffiti? Uh, Nab Man, are you there, or are you just going to play with your Peter Popper? <sighs> Here we go again. You know, again, again, another Helen Keller deaf mute, all right? Uh, let's see. How about uh, new substances, radio graffiti? Folks, I've come to realize something. My over-reliance on tobacco, the wacky variant, has made it lose its effect. Not to mention my grandson, the kid that sells candy apples, is jacking up the price. And also, my alcohol has damaged my liver, more so in the last five years than it had during my previous run. So that's why I've decided to try out something new to take the edge off. That's right. I'm going to do something I've never done here before. I'm going to attempt to use a new substance live air. I can be out of your circle. Job, he would often get up into some tomfoolery. Anyway, I went to the local Ace Hardware store and purchased myself a can of Krylon spray paint. That's right. This guy distilled, and he would huff this live on air. So I am going to try the same. All right, let's see here. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Let me get the cap off here. All right, I think we're ready to go. All right. <laughs> that's the shit, baby. And you guys can try us at home right now. Just find yourself a can of spray paint, baby. Ah, uh, yeah. This no, no, I don't try that shit at home. What are, you, what are you fucking talking about? Don't try that shit. Don't try that shit, man. Don't try that shit. Fuck, are you fucking people insane? Try the... the no! 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 Oh, my God, dude. You... All right, dude, I'm going to have to end this show. Don't donate to me anymore. This is not Talmudic magic. This is not reverse psychology. Do not donate to me any fucking more. I'm done with this fucking show. I'm only going to do a couple of more radio graffiti calls. I'm going to do the fucking goddamn videos, and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Oh, great. Look who's out. Fucking Alex Jones, radio graffiti. How about them cowboys? Ah, oh, fuck. You know what? You know, go fuck your mother, all right? Go fuck your dirty dish rag whore mother, you motherfuckers. All right? And uh, hold on. We got InfoWars Radio Graffiti. How about them Democrats? Oh, Jesus fucking hell, man. Uh, how about uh, Purple Juice Radio Graffiti? <laughs> Hey, Gus, how's it going, man? Hey, what's going on, man? I've uh, been doing all right, man. Had a long week and a lot of things going on with my grandfather. Yeah, I know, man. That doesn't sound good. Are you all right? I'm all right. He's doing a little bit better right now, but he's just trying to get his on and off with some stuff. Do, don't, awesome don't, don't you think that this is a time for you to start self-reflecting there, Purple Juice, and saying, man, I got to... I gotta start doing something with myself, man. I gotta, I gotta do my thing, thing, man. I've been thinking about it like hardcore, trying to get my life in order right now. Trying to actually start doing stuff for myself. Yeah, you know. Um, can I? Can, yeah, I, I, I hear you, man. You know, and you've been saying this for like a couple of years that I've known you. So I have one, you know, word of advice. Okay. You know What's what I mean. Um, I'm, I'm fucking do it, you lazy fucking piece of shit! All right, fucking do it already. Yes, sir. I would definitely use that for motivation. All right, get out of here, you fucking stupid motherfucker, and go eat a goddamn Popeye's chicken. Give me a fucking drink. And who uh, defending Jag Radio Graffiti? Oh, Oh my God! Have you heard these reports? For Christ's sake, little Marco actually believes he can negotiate something. Uh, 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 you, you, f you motherfuckers, dude! You goddamn motherfuckers! Ghost is daily intake radio graffiti. 
All right. Uh, you're, uh, yeah, you just fucking you, you fucking left because you're a fucking piece of crap. Three three seven radio graffiti. Hey, what's happening, Ghost? What's going on? Nothing much. Just hanging out. Um, I'm surprised Purple didn't reference me on, but then again, he was complaining about no job. So. Whoa! Whoa! It's not a bad thing. I've been trying to help him. So you're uh, well. Uh, why isn't Purple Juice like launching into trying to make some cash? See, that's a weird situation because. I know when I first met him, I'd say around four years ago, I would say. Like, I know he just got fired from, like, some kind of construction job, uh, from some allegations of, you know, some pretty much some fucking Karen claiming that he pushed him off a roof or something. I don't know. So it was a, it was a whole thing. Pushed but, him but off a sure roof? Little... No, it was an allegation. I, I don't think Purple would do that. But, you know, there was a whole allegation on that. All right. But, well, you know he's got he's got he's got, he's got to start hustling now, don't you think? Yeah, I know. I've been trying to push him to go on Indeed. I got them on there yet on the other. Well, not yesterday, but it was more like a couple of weeks ago. But uh, yeah, and then we just ended up memeing on there. He didn't really find anything that's new to him. Um, I'm also trying to get him to get his GED. I'm probably gonna pay for that next check because I, I want to. Well, he, man, if you're if you're paying all this, why don't you just move him in your place? Well, that's when I get my own place. I'm staying with somebody while I'm in college right now. Oh, well, I don't know. Do you have, like, a closet for him, you know, with a little cot? I'm sure, he'd, you know, he'd give you... He'd go out... He'd be he'd be your bruiser or something, you know? He'd be, like, out there, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch your back, GTR, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I wish I could, but, you know, I don't really have any space, and plus it's not my house I'm staying at right now, so... All right, it's the respectful thing to do. Well, that's a very good point. All right. Hey, you want to give a shout-out or anything? Obviously, Purple Juice, LB Capitalist, and fucking Ghosto. Get out the goon cave and come debate me, fucker. Oh, oh, well, you know, Ghosto, he's like, you know, sticking a couple of fingers in his ass over fucking fish tank and observing a bunch of normies. And like, <laughs> hey, you know, my God, that's great. That's funny. You know, that kind of crap. All right. How about uh, how about two one four radio graffiti? Hey man, what's going on? How you doing? Doing fine. I worked an election at the polls last week. Hey, cool man. Good to good to hear, man. So, what was your assessment of everything that went on at that time? It was pretty interesting, and you know, I'm just enjoying these liberal tears. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you, man. Do you want to give a shout-out or do anything? Well, I mean, why the hell did you post that video of your nephew? What the fuck? Yeah, you know what? Go shove it up your fucking clogged-up <laughs> cornhole. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, we got old Foxo up in here. That's great. That That's just great. 937 Radio Graffiti. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on, man? You want to take a drink real quick, man? I remember that fruity voice. Can you get this guy out of here, for Christ's sake? All right, listen. Listen. If you're going to fucking call up and 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 you're going to want to fucking have me take a shot, you better sound like, Hey, ghost, you know, I want you to take a shot with me. You know what I'm saying? You sound like one of those mellow dudes, you know what I'm saying, that I saw in downtown back in the old city. You know, that motherfucker that was just... You know, that kind of shit. Give me a fucking drink. Uh, how about 504 Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost, this is Mass Phony again. Oh, great. I just wanted to let you know that I recently made a new fan fiction called The Hambone and the Six Retards. It involves... Goofy Bone, Oflamo, Jag Deluxe Ray, West Coast Capitalist, and... Can't even keep it together. Look, at you can't even keep it together for your own fucking bit, you tard. Say the last name. What is it? 
He fucking look at it. He fucking he, look at it. He couldn't even keep it together. The autism within this fucking prick. Like I'm trying to stick together. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking moron. Give me a fucking drink. <sighs> All right. Who the hell is Whip its user? Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck am I. What the fuck is going on here? Hey, hold on. Who the hell is this? El Foxo's Pedo Mod Exposed Radio Graffiti. No, no, that's a fucking, dude, that's a fucking dox again, dude. You guys have got to be fucking kidding me with this fucking bullshit tonight, man. You've got to be kidding me. Man, I'm just, I'm, I'm fucking tired of this shit. Oh, my God, dude, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? 941 Radio Graffiti. Uh, how about Rock's Ass Radio Graffiti? Last time on Ghost Unleashed, Ghost came face to face with his lifelong mortal enemy, Dr. Emmerich Jones. After coming face to face and confronting him, he was captured, and within the clutches of the evil doctor, all of the psyop energy and conspiracy emeralds within him were siphoned. After that, the doctor launched him away, never to be seen again. What will Ghostler do now? Find out this time on Ghost Unleashed. Fuck, fuck, fuck! I can't swim! I can't swim! Shit! 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 What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I can't fucking swim, I'm too fat! Fuck! I can hardly move my legs! I'm a fucking ham bone! Fuck, 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 fuck! No, I'm gonna need to be able to do the hell for me! Help me! Help me! After Ghost Politics' failure to save himself from drowning, Alex Jones and the engineer teamed up to save the world from Ghost Politics and his rampant homosexuality, spreading of AIDS, for and other such liberal deeds. And now the world is at peace eternally. This is because Ghost Politics is a sire, a hambone, a homosexual, a democrat, a furry, a brony, and worst of all, a fake tarred Jew. This is why the Jews have power and the autists don't. The Tards should be the ones ruling the world as they're the known talent, proven by the engineer being the real talent. Alex Jones was better than you will ever be. Your entire show is nothing but a failed webcomic. The chat wins. Vaughn chat is the best chat. The trolls are better than anything. The trolls have produced better content than you have in the past 15 years. You are irrelevant. You are worthless. The underground of the internet is nothing but tards and incels. That is who you are appealing to. You were a f Just admit it already. Don't. I want- that, No, that's it, man! That's it! That's it! Ah! Alright, dude, that's it, dude. I'm done with this fucking show, dude. I am done with this show. Take this shit off. Take it off right now. Take Goodbye. this fucking shit off. Take it off. Alright, I'm, I'm fucking done. I, 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 I'm done being disrespected. I'm done having my intelligence insulted. I am done having to put up with this fucking garbage, man. I'm done. You understand? I'm done. Don't fucking donate. AIDS quit. You fucking AIDS quit your fucking ass. Fucking piece of shit.
Put the fucking PC shot on. We got space trains with six beers. What's up, space trains? Good evening. Here's a ghost palate cleanser from DJ Mystic. Enjoy ghost.